Another viral internet challenge is making the rounds. It's called the chair challenge, and people say women can do it, but men can't. So we had some staff try it out. It's time for the chair challenge. First, you put your feet against the wall. And then you take three steps back. Two, three. Two, three. Make sure you bend all the way over so you're at 90 degrees. Put your head against the wall. Lift the chair up to my chest. And then finish trying to stand up straight with the chair in your hand. Sounds easy enough. This sounds tough for me. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't do it. I did it. <laughs> nope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I can't do it. I'm gonna get hurt. We're now joined by kinesiologist Dr. Kim Best to explain how this <laughs> works. This challenge is, I don't want to say easy for some, but doable for some and others, you can tell there's zero chance. Right. It is definitely easier for women because they have that lower center of gravity. They have a little bit wider hips, which allows them to shift their body weight backwards so then they can stand up. But uh, I have 50% of my men could actually do the test in my office. So really it's a, a question of being able to engage the hamstrings and the glutes. So what we really need to do is look at this might be a sign. If you can't do it, let's strengthen the glutes and the hamstrings. The problem with having weak hamstrings and glutes is that you end up having low back problems, knee problems, hip problems, so it can lead to a lot of other things. So you can take this challenge and, and look at your own personal health. So and let me talk about a more important chair test as you get older in life. It's the simple act of getting in and out of a chair, right? That, right? That, Which that, we do, we need to engage all of these important muscles. So whether or not we can do the chair test, there are ways we can really strengthen our glutes, our hamstrings, and get them engaged because when they're turned off, they don't even notify, right? So what right. can we do? Well, like just what you showed, when people lean forward, they probably have weak hamstrings and glutes because you should be able to shoot straight up. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first we want to lengthen the hamstrings and get a good stretch. So we're going to do downward dog, upward facing dog. It's a typical yoga move. Uh, everything's going to be shoulder width. It's a little bit different than in yoga because I'm just going to do a movement oriented. I'm going to bring the hips up. I look at my knees, I take a breath in, and then I come back. I don't hold it, I'm just breathing in and breathing out. So when we go back into that down dog, this is where you really get that hamstring stretch, so you really wanna drop those heels to the floor. So that really helps activate your hamstrings and your glutes before doing the exercise. Before I pick the weights up, one of the flaws on doing this, this is a straight leg deadlift. Uh, people tend to rotate out because they're trying to pick their leg up and so they're turning their belly button out. When you do this exercise, you want the belly button facing forward and then down to the floor so you keep your hips level. There's a few ways to do it, but I like to do it with a straight leg right away. So I'm going to pivot and hinge from the hip. You don't want to bend from the low back because then you can predispose your back to injury. You really want to lock the back first before doing the exercise. So I'm shifting my weight into my left leg. I'm dropping forward. It's a really good balance, coordination, strength move. And it also helps improve function in your ankles and your feet. Uh, then we're gonna do a backwards lunge. So you wanna stand tall. You're gonna take a big step backwards. We're gonna keep the knee over the toes. And right now I can feel my glutes engage. Now if I bring the weights forward, it increases that. <laughs> so, and then come up. So if you really wanna maximize the glutes, bring the weights forward. And that's it. It's some really simple exercises. Great. And you know what's great about that is, again, the multifunctional movements yes. that also translate to normal life. This chair challenge is fun, but you know, realistically in your everyday life, you're not doing the chair challenge, but the getting in and out of a chair, activating these muscles, I love this. You make it look way too easy though, Ken. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here and sharing.